This is the first Guy Van Bolen Company news video ever. Today we talk about the plans of main studios and headquarters in Dolmania during the build-up of the nation in the future, and Guy Van Bolen and the company have their plans and wants to being owned by Warner Brothers. Guy Van Bolen is also known with his first cartoon series for 14-plus audience, Tony Motors. After some many critics cause of the animation episodes or too shorty, Van Bolen and his Tony Motors cast members decided to create a brand new Tony Motors series, that takes 10 or 20 minutes longer. But many informations will chance on Tony Motors. The Johnson family includes, Tony, Brittany, Kendall, Daxter, and Reno. The family and friends will live in the Outer Banks in the state North Carolina in the town of Speedville. The first episode will be based on the story of the first and second clip from the pilot animation. And how Kendall and Daxter's rivalry begins with Miss Linda and Principal Hammer will also get a remake but as longer episode. Including James the Germ will make his debut on there. But the whole new series will be better animated and will build up a production team by making a campaign as free job until something will happen what's on the next topic. Guy Van Bolen is not only making adult animations, but also animations for kids. Like the adventures of Crash Bandicoot as gift for Activision under their partnership, even while being owned by Warner Brothers, what's on the next topic? This is the first update of the first episode of Guy his Crash Bandicoot cartoon show. Imbeciles! Fools! Nika poops! Can't you idiots do anything right? According to this, your track record for spreading evil is pathetic! Ooka ooka, it's not our fault. That wretched bandicoot is to blame. I will not let anything stand in the way of evil. Especially not a brainless orange marsupial! Crash must be eliminated! Uh, ooka ooka, need I remind you that Crash always finds a way to defeat us? Maybe he's just too good for us. The first episode is based on the cutscenes of the Crash Bandicoot game of the Wrath of Cortex. But also, a Guy Van Bolen original kids cartoon as original Guy Van Bolen brand, Kiddo Fun, is under development. And the two plans of Guy Van Bolen in Dolmania are placing its headquarters and main studios, and its first ever theme park and resort. Guy Van Bolen makes plans of together with the Guy Van Bolen company being owned by Warner Brothers. That will be known as the first Hollywood Donnywood connection ever. What are the reasons why? And why he thinks it must happen? Because while he's trying to make his first Hollywood movie ever for the Guy Van Bolen entertainment and movie world, it has a huge economic issues. For his movie, Monster Truck Brothers, Guy Van Bolen loves to see Nat Wolf, Ryan Lee, Doug Cameron, Sabrina Carpenter and Alvia Allen Lind as starring cast. But the problem is, Guy really sucks at economic and financial business for making movies, series etc. While he's autistic, he got lowest scores on math and didn't get economic lessons on school. He tried to do the get funding under collabs with a film accountant, but Guy still fails and has bad luck on it. On every financial and economic business on making movies he only turn it into a mess. That's why he makes plans for this movie under collaboration with Warner Brothers and First Line Cinema. Guy tried to contact them, but he couldn't find some email addresses, some of them he found, he haven't got reply. His only positions are being a scriptwriter, while he already finished the script, brainstormer, and being behind the scenes. The total drama spin-off project, Three Star Alliance, he wants to collaborate online with Fresh TV and Elliot Animations. That contains many of the total drama characters from different generations. And the other supporting characters there are four original characters, while Jen is already from 16 and will turn into the series, Craig, Milo, Alice, Madison and Ernal are the five original characters. Three Star Alliance is based on Yin Yang Yo, Titans and 16 and it contains no brainwashing on the main characters. We all know Jude's personality on 16, because that will be the same on 3 Star Alliance. But as surprise, Lindsay and Bridget are each other's BFFs, known as best friends forever or the besties. Chef Hatchet is of course the master of Jude, Bridget and Lindsay, just like Master Yo from Yin Yang Yo. 
even for in the future, at Guy Van Bolen theme parks and a kids' TV channel, that can be both shared with Warner Brothers. Van Bolen wants to bring these Cartoon Network shows back alive on a theme park of Guy Van Bolen, and on his Bring Back Kids cartoon channel of Jetix, also shared with Warner Brothers under Disney's permission. This was the first news video of the Guy Van Bolen Company. For more information, you can find it on the website of the Guy Van Bolen Company.com. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. The news came original from Guy Van Bolen, the Guy Van Bolen Company, and Ding Dong Productions.